Today we have a 2014 Lincoln MKZ. It's got the 3.7, it's all wheel drive. Uh, the customer's saying that it's not performing properly. I guess it's hesitating, getting terrible gas mileage. Uh, they took it in some place, it was scanned. They said they need an oxygen sensor upstream. It's bank two, sensor one. We're gonna show you where that's located and how to replace it. This is your Lincoln 3.7 motor. Um, your bank two, sensor one, happens to be right down here in this location. Uh, we're gonna start off by taking this cover off which all you actually have to do, there's a panel pop back here in the corner. All you have to do is lift, lift this one up right here, like that, lift that up, get that out like that. And this just pulls, this is like a rubber. You just pull this around that like that. You don't even have to disconnect that side over there. Just get it out of your way. They took it and had it scanned. They said it was bank two, sensor one. So that means it's the oxygen sensor before the catalytic converter, which happens to be right down there. That's right out of the manifold there. Okay, and we know this is bank two because the firing order in this car is two, four, six, and the back would be one, three, five. So this is two, so this is bank two, sensor one. And you can see it unplugs right here, which is nice and easy. You do that first, pop it like that. And all we gotta do is push this out of the way and put an oxygen tool down in there and spin that out. Now these are your oxygen tools. You can rent them, buy them, whatever. They're really not that expensive. I'm gonna use this one. This is gonna slip over your wire and go up in there, put it on there and break that loose and pull that out of there. I'm pulling this back so you can actually see it a little better. And you slide that cable down in there like that, the wire, and just put it on top of it. Just like that. Okay, now it's on there. Now you're just gonna have to move these around to get your long extension in there. In fact, I'm gonna go get a longer extension. Got a longer extension down in there. And I'm just gonna pry that over like that. Break it loose. Oh, there it goes. All right, got that loose. Now we're just gonna spin that. You gotta disconnect that wire first because it was plugged in. Of course, you couldn't be spinning, it'd be twisting. almost there. Put that off to the side. Actually, I'm not going to put it there because it'll fall. Okay. There we go. Oh yeah, it doesn't look that good. You're going to compare the two. This is a new one. You can tell this one's got a couple hundred thousand on it. It actually looks like it's a little plugged up. So, that looks the same. Now you want to make sure the plug-in's the same six in there there's six in there so those are the same so we're ready to reinstall the new one and it's got this ring on it you want to make sure that's on there already put it in start it by hand of course Okay, tighten it up. With a new one here, I'm just gonna slide that down, pull it back, and tighten it up. Right at the right angle. Okay, that's on there. Now I gotta get the long extension. I might have to pull it back like this so I get a better angle on it. I'm just gonna tighten it up, pull that over, get it started like that. And now I'm just gonna tighten that up. I'm trying not to drop it. Otherwise, you gotta go look for that. Okay, I've got that out of there. I'm gonna run this on this other side like that. Put it up, plug it in. You just gotta listen for it to click. Just like that. That's installed. We just gotta put our cover back over it. Slide that around like that. The last thing we do is run this clip up, put that in, push that in place. That's all it takes to do a bank two sensor one oxygen sensor on a 2014 Lincoln Mercury MKZ with a 3.7 motor.